One thing that I've learned over the years is that it's really easy to lose focus of what's important. I have to frequently remind myself of what got me to this point in the first place. And it's almost always the music, you know, it, it always starts with the music. My name is Nick Weiler, also known as Bro Safari. With Bro Safari, it just took off, man, in a way that I never, I never expected. I didn't expect to have thousands of followers. There was no social media when I started doing, you know, Evil Intent. So the concept of a brand and followers and this and that was new when Bro Safari was starting, and it just it did so well that I was off immediately doing shows, doing tours, doing this and that. And I think most artists will tell you that once that grind starts and you don't quickly put yourself in check on how to stay focused and stay motivated and stay happy, then it can get out of control really quick. And you can find yourself a year or two later, like I did three years later saying, I don't feel like I'm making the music that I wanna be making anymore. Um, the shows were always going well, but in my studio, I was just like hitting my head against a wall. It became very redundant. You know, creativity is about a vibe. It's about um, just turning on and, and pushing pushing it out and, and getting your, your vision out to the world in the most pure form possible. And when, you're, when all eyes are on you, it can be easy to overthink it, overanalyze it, doubt yourself and restrict yourself from true growth as an artist. Anybody who knows my music knows who UFO is. I've written an album with him called Animal. I've written an EP with him called Future Primitive. We've written countless singles, remixes together. He and I just completely gel when we are working together. And that does not happen with me for many people. We just started trading files back and forth. We started a couple songs that do fit under the Bro Safari and UFO umbrella. And that's what we've been doing. So we decided that we're gonna do another album together. Um, and that'll be bass music. It's gonna be heady, deep, headphone candy. And I'm, I'm really excited about it. Anybody who listens to our previous album, Animal, I think they're gonna appreciate where this is going, you know, especially being an unfinished song. <laughs> I mean, inspiration is a tricky thing because when you want it, it's not there, you know? And that often leads to a bit of a downfall in your psyche. And then next thing you know, you've rediscovered inspiration because you've gone to a, a dark place, perhaps. I can still do this. Like, I still know how to make music because there was a while where I said to myself, I don't think I can make music anymore. I forgot. You have to understand that things are never going to be perfect in the studio. You're never going to have just an endless flow of inspiration. It's, 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 you know, for me, it's just not gonna happen. And just accepting that on its own led to me feeling very inspired. I know that if I keep doing what I'm doing right now, I will get bored. Even as much fun as I'm having right now doing it, it's time to evolve next year. Or else, what am I doing? 
it's time to push the envelope and move on to whatever's next. I don't know for sure, but I, I have a good idea of where it's going. And I think, again, it starts with music. ¶¶